A ribbon cutting ceremony for Snapdragon Stadium happened just moments ago. Yeah, the home stadium for the San Diego State Aztecs. Been in the works for two years or so now, mm -hmm. breaking ground in the middle of the pandemic. Fox Wise Claire Benitez is at a busy day out there in Mission Valley with uh, all the festivities and when the public's going to get to get a better look. Yeah, well, it's been a very busy day. We took a tour inside the stadium. We just wrapped up that ribbon cutting and really just the excitement was shown here today. The marching band was out here. The cheerleaders were out here and they just wrapped up and now are inside taking the tour. So the public will be able to see this on September 3rd when the San Diego State Aztecs play the Arizona Wildcats. Now, you know, a little bit about that stadium. Uh, you know, the ground happening again happened in the middle of a pandemic. Many speakers acknowledging people didn't have faith that this would actually be done in two years, but it was completed in that time frame. The developers wanted to create a stadium that encompassed all of San Diego with all those local breweries, the local food inside, those palm trees, and the outdoor field to be able to enjoy that beautiful San Diego weather. The stadium is 99% complete with some finishing touches that need to be done before that grand opening on September 3rd. The stadium will be able to hold 35,000 people and could extend the capacity to 40,000 people for a concert with standing room. The stadium also was created with 90% of recycled items from the old stadium. When I see Snapdragons and Qualcomm's name on this stadium, you understand that our future as a city depends on having a talented workforce with housing that people can afford. This is not just about a stadium, everybody. This is about the future of this great city. And what I say is I want more of this. I want it done faster, and I want to make sure that we can say 100 years from now, what people will say on this site is that we got this done correctly, and that's where I'll end. Now, Mayor Todd Gloria did mention that he wants this to be a model futuring for many of their projects that are happening around San Diego. Now, the Aztecs won't be the only ones who are going to be playing here. There's going to be concerts here. Also, the uh, San Diego Wave FC will be playing here, as well as those San Diego Legion rugby players. But we'll have more information for you in the next hour. Reporting live here from Mission Valley, Clara Benitez, Fox 5 News.